So now that we have the basics in place, we need to start introducing the concept of roles into our application. So to do this, we're going to create a roles model and migration. So over in your terminal, we can do PHP artisan make model, and we're going to call this model role. And we're also going to pass this the M flag, and that creates a migration for us as well at the same time. Let's have a look in our application and we can see under app, we now have our role model and also under database migrations, we have our create roles table. So let's open that. So this is going to be a very simple table and we're just going to store the role name. So under the ID, let's create a new row and we're going to do a table and it's going to be of type string and we're just going to call this name. And this is where we'll store the name of the role. So we can call these whatever we want, such as admin, editor, author. I'm going to leave that up to you. So we need some way now to link the roles to our users. So we need another table that will link them both together. So let's create a migration for that. So it's PHP artisan make migration. And we're going to call this create role underscore user underscore table. Let's open up this migration and that's under database migrations again. So in this table, we need two columns. We need the role ID and the user ID that that role is assigned to. So let's create a new row and um, we're going to do a table and it's going to be of type integer. And this is going to be for the role underscore ID. And we're going to make this an unassigned integer. We'll just copy this line down. And this time we're going to be calling this one user underscore ID. So that's how we're going to link the roles to the users. So a user could have many roles. The next thing we need to do is migrate this into our database. So it's a PHP artisan migrate. And that's created the tables for us, our roles table and our roles user link table. Now we need to set up our relationships within Laravel. So over in app, um, we'll open up our role model first. As you see, this is empty at the moment. So we're going to create a new relationship in here. And to do that, it's public function. And we're going to call this users and this is going to return a this belongs to many and it belongs to many app user so we're saying this role model belongs to many users so now we need to do that in our user model as well so over in app user at the bottom of here let's create a new function again so public function and this time we're going to call this one roles and what we're going to do here is return again and this belongs to many and it's going to belong to many app role so this is the reverse of what we've just put into the role model and we're just basically saying that the user belongs to many roles so this allows laravel to know that the user can have many roles and the roles can have many users because you could have multiple admins and the admins might be authors as well but that's up to you how you implement that that's our tables and our relationships set up. So in the next video, let's look at setting up some of our table seeders. And this will allow us to put some test data into the application so we can start working with it and see how it all fits together.